Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today is all about troll beads. I have some new beads and designs and an unboxing at the end of this video of an order I placed with Diamonds Forever in Denmark. So let's get started. I want to start with Blooming Boutique and I was very lucky to get two uniques. And as you can see, they're two dog uniques and I do feel that dogs are underrepresented with troll beads compared to cats. My dog is black and gray, and I just thought that this was really suitable to represent him on my bracelet, and especially like the blue background as well. So a little bit derpy um, looking dogs, and I kind of like that. I like the personality that the dogs have here. The dog on the right has a blue sparkle patch underneath one of the eyes, and then you can see how the glass is a little bit raised up to create that detail. I'm not sure what that dot is underneath the dog's nose there. If that white dot is supposed to be a design feature on a dog or just an extra feature on these armadillos. I think these are armadillo beads, right? I think so. But this one on the left, I like the blue background. I like how the dogs look comical in a way. Very wide eyed. And this one here, I thought it was so pretty, that sparkle blue patch. And it really stands out. It's very nice. These next beads I purchased from Diamonds Forever during their Black Friday sale. And oh my goodness, such great savings. They had a fantastic sale. So this is the Framed by Buds. And it was on sale for $22.00. And then I also picked out my very first Lapis Lazuli Go Round. And I just asked um, Jani, Yanni, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name. I just asked her to pick me out a really pretty bright blue one. And she did fantastic. This one is stunning. And uh, yeah, so the little Go Rounds, they were only $28. So I think that is a really good savings as well. And I thought I would quickly compare with you the Framed by Buds compared to the other Framed Beads. As you can see, Framed by Buds isn't long. It doesn't have as much silver, but it is still a really nice textured detail. This one in the center, I believe, is called Framed by Leaves. You've got a little bit more silver, and it's a little bit longer in length. And then this one at the very end is framed by Ivy. I'm a little bit disappointed with my framed by Ivy. I was hoping that I could fit like a standard glass bead. Although I haven't tried with the newer glass beads. I noticed that they're getting smaller and so maybe they will fit. Right now I just have one of the little go rounds inside but maybe the newer glass beads will fit. And then the next bead is the Dichroic Glass. So I think this one was $28 as well. It's my very first Dichroic Glass. And take a look at the colors. I am sold. I think I can easily see myself wanting multiples of this bead. You've got some lighter blues and some yellow greens. It's so pretty. One thing that surprised me is that the bead is actually square. In addition to being square, it has some indents where the dichroic glass bubbles are. I was expecting it to be round, but it's so pretty, really well done. The next bead that was a must have for me at some point is Northern Lights Magic. I believe this is a 2018 people's bead and it is magical. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to add this one to my collection because I do have the Perception bead from the new Wisdom kit and they're very similar, but Perception on the top there is quite a bit brighter than the Northern Lights Magic and it doesn't have that purple glass overlay that just gives it that drama effect. So I put in an order note um, asking Yanni to pick me out a bead that had a really nice purple glass, a little bit wider and a little bit brighter because I have seen a Northern Lights Magic bead when I was at a Troll Bead store for the first time, but it was really dark. So I held off. So glad I did because this one is stunning. You've got a little sparkle at the base. You've got the green and the blue. And I think it looks really neat actually with the dichroic glass and this lapis. I just, I don't know, to me the three of these, there's something, you know, of course I would separate this a little bit, but this dichroic glass, 
I think it can be really versatile now that I'm looking at it. Another bead that I picked out is the Ornate, no, I wanted to call it Ornate Blue, but it's not. Um, this one is actually called Blast of Blue. And so it was the same price as the Northern Lights Magic. You've got that golden tone with the dark blue on top. And I think that I got a really pretty one. There's a little bit of glitter there. Do you see that running through? This is such a gorgeous bead. I have the ornate of green and I fell in love with it. So I knew I wanted at some point to get the blue. I have the ornate of green on this winter design here. Well, I guess it's winter, it could be year round, but it's right in the center next to the snow blossoms. And that green stripe that goes through is so pretty. It's not a dark green, it's a little bit lighter. And I can see creating a design with Blast of Blue and Ornate Green with the Northern Lights. I think these are really nice together. The next bead I purchased is a little silver bead. It's called Spring Leaves. I couldn't resist it for $15. And it just kind of cups a bead beside it. It could go around one of the gemstone go-rounds. It is very petite. It needs a little bit of a polish, I think. And I think it's going to be really nice just to have that in a design breaking up the glass beads. And then, of course, I had to add a gemstone to my collection. This is Lapis Lazuli. And what attracted me about this one, and this one she did have some images on site, so I knew exactly which bead I was ordering. Every once in a while, um, Diamonds Forever will put images of the actual bead that you're going to have on site. And I was really attracted to this little white stripe running through that inclusions. And it also has a fair amount of um, some bronze in this one as well. And I just, I don't know, I like my gemstones to have a little bit of character to it. So my first lapis is right here and it has a little bit of white and bronze. And this is my second one. So they're almost identical in shape and color. The next gemstone I picked out is a rose quartz and they had two with images online and I chose the one that was more pink and it's a little bit smaller than the other one but it was a little bit more pink and it is so pretty it just has that pink glow about it and I think it combines well with the dichroic glass as well and just a few of the other beads but I think it's gonna be very versatile. And when I first opened this up, I was surprised actually how much I liked it. So I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. And I think it pairs well with other gemstones that I have. This is Moonstone. This one here is the Labradorite. This one has a little bit of green and also that orangey warm blush tones. And then this is my Chalcedony. I also created this bracelet design here with two of my new beads. And the first one is a flowers of the month bead and I got October and this completes the flowers of the month series for me. October is really pretty. It's a calendula and you've got the textured and it's a little bit flat, a smaller flower on the back with the pearl at the bottom. Here it is the October next to the February. So you can see a size comparison. And then also on this bracelet is another new gemstone for me. And this one here is Sodalite. And I chose this one because it had a little bit of everything in there. So you've got so the darker side I do notice on Blooming Boutique's um, online site that the darker soda lights tend to sell faster than the ones with white in them. I don't know if it's just personal preference. I wasn't sure what I liked, so I chose a bead that had a little bit of both. So here's the darker side. It has a little bit of bronze in there at the top. And then as I rotate the bead, you've got some more bronze and a little bit of white as well. So it's our gray, maybe some gray tones. So like I mentioned, this bead had a little bit of everything. And I created this bracelet design just to have um, a little bit of gemstones combined with some glass. This here is the Stardust Stripe. I've got a ruby rock right there. And then over here is the beautiful vine. I believe it's called Vine Dreams. I can't remember now, it's escaping me. 
This gemstone is absolutely amazing, this moonstone here. And then, oops, and at the very end, I have the lighter amethyst. So I created this bracelet design just with the different gemstones and a little bit of purple. And another purple design that I still have together is the Aurora bracelet design. So I did add in the moonlight bubbles at the very end. And then I've got my darker amethyst, but this is my new bead that I purchased in the Black Friday sale. Uh, this is the Joyful Flower. It was only $28 and I could not resist. It's very similar in design, I think, to the larger apple blossom. The difference is, do you see in the center of those flowers, there's like a little happy face in the center. Do you see that? It's pretty subtle. Like when you're wearing the bracelet and from a distance, you don't notice that there are little faces inside the flower. It just more looks like a detailed texture detail of the flowers, but yeah, they're there. So this is my Aurora bracelet design that I still have together. And then I added the joyful flowers in the center. And before we do the unboxing, I thought I would share with you quickly the difference between the lapis on top and the sodalite. And even if I compare the sodalite at its darkest tone that I have on this one, it's, yeah, it's definitely a deeper colored gemstone. So let's move on to this unboxing from Diamonds Forever. And this order arrives super fast considering the holiday season. So I've got how many boxes here? Four boxes to open up. And oh, they included the latest release brochure. And then a card as well that says, thank you for your purchase. I believe that is everything inside. So let's take a look. Uh, this card here, I believe is from the winter release. Yeah, we've got, um, of course it's in Dutch, but we have the winter release photos. And I have no idea what's inside these boxes, so we'll just randomly open them up. And this one is a silver. Oh, it looks like the paper got a little crumpled. This is a little petite silver that they had in the clearance section. I think it was only $11 and I couldn't resist. This one is a duplicate for me and it's called Night Dream. And like I mentioned, it is a duplicate. It does have, I think they're supposed to be crescent moons and a little bit of texture. It is an abstract bead and it is quite petite. Although it's supposed to be like a night sky bead, I do think it's so versatile that you can put it with any design. I currently have mine placed at the very end of my C bracelet or my Ocean Life bracelet. I love this bracelet. I think it's gonna be a permanent design. I just can't imagine taking it apart at this point. Maybe at some time I will, but for now this is a permanent design. And to me, this kind of represented more like an ocean bubbles or waves. I thought it kind of suited some of the other textured beads that I have on here. So let's open up this box and inside here is a gemstone. This one is Amazonite. And I'm just taking a look at it for the first time with you. They had two on for $35. For a long time, um, Diamonds Forever had some gemstones with actual photo images of the stone you receive for $35. And this one here intrigued me, although I did not know it had that little bit of a sparkle to it. I didn't know Amazonite could do that actually. Look how pretty that is. It has a little bit of a sparkle glow to it. Do you see that at the bottom of the bead? I just chose the one that was a little bit wider and a little bit softer because the Amazonite that I have, this is a second one for me, um, is bright and I find it a little bit tricky to design with. So I was looking for a second one, but I didn't want them to be total duplicates of each other. The one that I already have in my collection is this one here. So it's quite deeper and a little bit brighter in color compared to the second one. And you can see there's a little bit of a size comparison as well. I just love the gemstones. I love how unique they all are. Let me put it next to the emerald. 
So my emerald is on the far left and I was going for a softer amazonite just to kind of tie in the emerald a little bit and they do work really well together, these three. So two boxes left and let's see what's inside this one and another gemstone. Okay, this one is another sodalite. When I received the first sodalite, I liked it so much I decided to get a second. The second sodalite that I picked out for myself, there was two or three to choose from that had the images attached. This one had a little bit more gray and that's what I was attracted to. Do you see how this one has a little bit more gray stripes on the side of the bead? And it's not a solid blue. I was really looking for that. I love the interest that all of these gemstones have. It has some tiger stripes almost to it. And then as I rotate it, it gets a little bit deeper and darker. So these sodalite beads are similar but different. The first one that I have has some little bits of brown in it. And then it does have a darker side and then it does have the gray. So we have the last box. And to be honest, I don't remember what's inside. Isn't that bad? <laughs> Let's see what's inside here. And oh, this one is a unique that I picked out. That's right. So Diamonds Forever also gets uniques in that they post pictures of and this little turtle just won me over. I just, I love the critters and the turtle I thought was so cute and it looks like it's got the brown body and then the shell has a little green and blue pattern. And what's surprising to me is I actually thought it would be a darker blue at the base of this unique, but it almost looks teal. I wonder how it looks with the Amazonite. Let me put them together. It actually works really well with the Amazonite. So that is a happy surprise. This is my new Amazonite here, my existing one, my first one. And then I just for fun threw in the Emerald, but I think it works really well with the Amazonite. And I was not expecting that. I actually was expecting that it would go with the Sodalite that I purchased. And here is the Sodalite. So yeah. Definitely more of the Amazonite shade than the Sodalite. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this Troll Beads video and seeing the new beads and designs that I have in my collection. And please leave me a comment below. I always like getting your thoughts. Take care. Bye-bye.